County in America. In 2013, 17.5 million households were food insecure, and as a result, today more and more people are relying on the use of food banks and food pantries. You should care about this because in the U.S., hunger isn't caused by a lack of food, but rather the continued prevalence of poverty. My name is Jasmine Lewis, and I'm an Intro to Applied Communication student here at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. And today I'm going to tell you about my volunteer experience at the Arkansas Food Bank. First, I'm going to tell you about the Arkansas Food Bank and the experience that I had while there. Next, I'll tell you about the communication principle that connects back to my service learning experience, along, along with two communication concepts. And then I'll finally tell you about the communication concepts and ethical implications that I feel I can improve on. Did you know that 49 million Americans struggle to put food on the table and that one in five Arkansans struggle to provide enough food for their family? Well, if not, you do now, which should be just as alarming to you as it is to me. The mission of the Arkansas Food Bank, according to ArkansasFoodBank.org, is to fight against hunger and in the process create a community in which hunger needs are met with sufficient access to nutritious food. Basically, I just put up a few key ideas, which includes them and their mission to fight against hunger, provide access to nutritious food, and create a stronger community, and what to expect. Now I'm going to get into my experience and what I actually did when I went there. When I got there, the lady, Mrs. Bryan, told me to arrive 30 minutes early. I actually got there at 7 o'clock, and I was supposed to be there at 730. Um, and when I did these hours, my cousin went along with me because she also had a class that she had to volunteer for. And pretty much, it was cut and dry. She came in, she told us, hey, this is what you do. Here are these bins. They say rice, canned goods, snacks, dry food. You place the items in correspondence to the boxes with the labels. So that was pretty much that. Everything ran smoothly until I turn around and I hear a lot of chaos and commotion. I look up and I see teens. Um, personally, I don't, I'm not really a fan of teenagers or kids once they hit three, so I automatically thought, okay, everything is about to, everything is about to start going downhill, and it did, um, but thankfully I was able to get them back into shape and let them know what they were supposed to be doing, and after that, they wouldn't leave me alone. But overall, I enjoyed the experience, um, and I think that my, me serving my volunteer hours there, helped accomplish the mission because I'm a part of that community and I went in along with other community community members to work together and help provide crates and boxes of food to give out to those who needed it. Um, moving forward, there are eight states that have statistically higher food insecurity rates than in the U.S. Well, then the U.S. average in Arkansas has the highest at 21.2%. And being that we're all Arkansans, this should really worry you. Um, the relative communication principles that I used was the communica communicative behaviors are learn learnable, and that definition according to the UAOR Survival Guide 2018 is that it's inevitable, but behavior, the behavior used isn't. That behavior that you learn can be either positive or negative, and I think an example of that are the students how Miss Amber she came in she told them the exact same things that she told us but half of them understood it half of them didn't I found jars of pickles and boxes that clearly said rice so I mean if that doesn't tell you something I don't know I don't know what else to say um, the first communication concept that I use is the self-fulfilling prophecy and the definition according to Alder Rodman and Dupree 2017 is a prediction or expectation of an event that makes the outcome more likely to occur that otherwise wouldn't have been the case. Um, and for me, I think I represented this because no matter what the task is, I always tell myself, you're going to execute it, you're going to do it, you're going to get it done. It may not be the best, but you will accomplish what you set out to do. Um, the second communication concept that I use is identity management, which according to Alder Rodman and Dupree, 2017, can be defined as strategies used by communicators to influence the way others view them. And again, I think I illustrated this concept by doing my duties and also making sure that the teens actually understood what they needed to do. And in the process, I kind of did my overseer's job because she disappeared and I really didn't see her until the end. Um, moving on. 
One in six people struggle with hunger, and one in four children struggle with hunger. Um, and they could be our neighbors, our family members. They could be people sitting in this classroom, which is also important. Um, and you should be concerned about this. Uh, when it comes to the topic of improving my communication, one concept that I could work on is affect display. <laughs> and this definition, according to Alder Rodman and Dupree 2017, is a facial expression, body movement, and vocal traits that reveal emotional states. Like I said before, when those kids came in, my entire face changed. And I'm trying to work on it because you can tell when I'm irritated or I'm frustrated. And I, I'm really going to try to work on that. Um, but like I said, I chose this concept in regards to my service learning because as soon as those kids came in, my cousin turned to me and she was like, okay, I can tell you're already irritated. I'm like, okay, well. Um, and the ethical implication that I chose was concern for the community, which according to UALR's Department of ACOM Survival Guide 2018, committing to the practice of daily actions, interactions, and performances of engaged citizens that promote a co-created community experience and I chose this because actually being there in person, it made it real for me to look up and see those high aisles stacked with food and sanitary um, items and stuff that people go without and it made everything real for me. Um, and by doing that, I do more than just, that does more than just prove that I care, it actually shows it because I actually went out and did work. You have to do something in order to get something out. And at the end of the day, I felt accomplished after I completed my hours. And last but not least, today I told you about my volunteer experience at the Arkansas Food Bank, the communication principles and concepts connected to that experience, and the ethical implications that I can improve on. And I'll leave you all with this. You make a living by what you get, and you make a life by what you give. And that just tells you what to expect if you do actually volunteer there and how to get involved. Involuntary.